What up boys and welcome back to another video. So I recently uploaded a video of me running around and picking up all the uh, chests that spawned in Wrath of Lich King and a lot of people liked it. Some people didn't like it because they were already doing it and now they started to get competition. But uh, here I am again and I'm going to show you the loot that I received after basically checking out every single chest spawn in TBC. So uh after doing it, if you guys don't know how to do it, I'm not going to like send you guys to the other video. It's really, really simple. Like You should download the add-ons uh, GatherMate and GatherMate2. This one, GatherMate2 and GatherMate2 data. Because once you have those, then you can um, open up your GatherMate2 and you can filter to look for like every single treasure there is, right? You can also go and import, that's why you need like the GatherMate2 uh, data, because then you can import what everyone else has found. So they found all the chests, so once you import, you're going to get the uh, location, like you guys can see, of all the, the chests in, uh, in TBC. So it's really, really easy, and once you've done that, you just fly around and you check every single chest. It is, however, way easier if you get yourself a rogue and an outlaw rogue because if you have an outlaw rogue you're gonna have this beautiful thing find treasure so it's pretty much gonna show up as like a this yellow dot like if you see a, a vein or a herb on the ground so you're gonna have this uh pink circle with like a red dot in it because a lot of the chests are gonna be inside buildings so you just want to fly over the buildings and it, it will tell on your mini map if there's actually going to be a spawn so if you don't have a rogue, then just make a class trial rogue and uh, spec it uh, spec it outlaw, so you can get the find treasure. It's 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 good. It's really you should definitely do it. Way easier than checking every single building. So I did every zone right here in TBC, and uh, it's definitely it's different. I did it with war mode on. And I did then I like turned off war mode, right? Just to see if there was a big difference. And I actually found more chests with war mode uh with war mode on than off, which is kinda odd because uh most people that level they have war mode uh, on. Uh but I'm guessing there's been some people farming. However, this is what I managed to get, right? So we have uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 chests because you get a guaranteed blue out of one of these chests. So I managed after doing one lap of each zone to get 19 chests, right? And in this bag alone, like double shield, this bad boy right here is 4.5 on my realm. This one is 5,000 gold on my realm, only 3.5. And these are 2,000 gold. Shoulders 1.3. But like just in these items, we got 20,000 gold, over 20,000 gold in market value. And then the rest of these items are going to be less than 1,000 gold, right? Some of these are not even worth putting up on the auction house. But like just in the items that I did receive, uh, that I'm definitely going to put up on the auction house. We're looking at over 20,000 gold of items you can throw up on the auction house. So it took me less than an hour to do this, to go through all the zones. And if you compare it to doing like a dungeon, like sure, you can be lucky in a dungeon and you can get way more gold. But like, I've done a lot of dungeons and it's not super common to do a dungeon and be left with over 20,000 gold in market value. It depends on your realm, depends on your RNG, of course. But you're way more guaranteed to get items that's worth putting up on the auction house when doing the chest tactic. So you might have to wait a day or two because after this video there might be a couple of people swarming around in TBC. Uh, but that is the results that I got this time around in TBC. And just try it. Like if you're not finding jack shit with war mode on, uh, turn war mode off and look again on a different face, right? So that's pretty much it. I thought you guys would be interested in the TBC loot too, and it's really underestimated looking for these chests. You could also have a, uh, you can also fly around and kill rare elites, right? If uh, like while you're at it. So if you don't want to use add-ons for that, like handy notes or something, you can just like Google the map and rare elites, and you can see exactly where they're patrolling. Just in case you're not on, let's say there's no chests in this area, right? But it might be a rare elite that you want to check out. So. Uh, looking out the map or getting an add-on is uh, it's pretty decent because most uh, rare items will well all of them will also drop a blue item that might be good so 
That's it for today's video. Hopefully it's going to be of interest to some of you guys. If it was, make sure to click that thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And I will see all of you guys in tomorrow's video. Until then, bye-bye.